We've got some signings to talk about on today's show. So welcome into Falcons Today by Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson here. Happy to be with everyone. And along with a couple new faces on this Atlanta roster. So we're going to run through all of the Maves Terry Fontenot and company have made following rookie minicamp where they added some players to the 90-man roster and unfortunately they had to make some cuts along the way as well. Now the first signing we're going to talk about here is Aaron Wilson reporting Falcons signed XFL defensive lineman Lacal London. Now of course this is a household name but the reason why I mention this and even give it some more emphasis is Lacal London might not be a notable name but of course, he is another Chicago Bear that followed Ryan Pace down to Atlanta. He was signed as a UDFA out of Western Illinois in 2020 by the Bears. He played in one career regular season game. He had one snap against the Vikings back in 2020, I think on a Monday night football game. Now, for the XFL, he played for St. Louis's Battle Hawks this past year. He was even a XFL Defensive Player of the Week one week. So he had some pretty good games and plays. It's hard to find XFL stats. Uh, I think I saw he had 33 tackles and like two forced fumbles or something like that during his time with the Battle Hawks. But he is going to be competing for a spot on the 53-man roster. I mean, you got some roster locks like Campbell, Onyemata, Jarrett. I think Goldman's a lock, uh, Graham's a lock, Zach Harrison. But after that, I mean, you definitely have some competition going for one of the last few defensive tackle or defensive end spots on this defensive line. So we have London joining the Falcons roster, at least for the time being. We're going to look at the other moves Atlanta made in just a moment. But if you tuned into yesterday's video, you remember that I mentioned we were doing a sub battle with our Vikings channel. So they uh, fired back and credit to them because they picked up 106 subscribers on their video yesterday. Now, credit to all of you watching who joined because we picked up 88 new subs, which is pretty good far, as far as YouTube uh, metrics go. But we still want to beat Vikings now. Help us do that. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Now, the next signing we're going to talk about is an offensive tackle. Uh, Aaron Wilson tweeting out that Barry Wesley... Another XFL legend coming from the Seattle Sea Dragons has signed with Atlanta. Now, a lot of these guys had rookie minicamp invites, and they impressed enough to warrant a spot on the 90-man roster. Now, he played for Seattle, like we just said, on the XFL last season. He was a former walk-on at Colorado State, so if anyone is watching from Colorado, he had a very cool, star, uh, cool story as he landed a spot on the Rams roster, despite not getting any sort of D1 attention whatsoever. So the guy has some awesome work ethic, and he's already made it this far in his professional football career. I'm not sure many people thought he'd get past just the collegiate ranks. So don't rule out Barry Wesley. Uh, he impressed, like I said, during his rookie minicamp invite, and he will be competing for a 53-man roster spot on this offensive line that has a lot of really good pieces on it. Like, there's not a whole lot of open spots, I think, I mean, out after your starters, Hennessy is probably a lock. Mayfield, it, it's definitely a little bit up for grabs right now, right? I, I don't think the uh, backup offensive line positions are absolutely stoned and squared away. So there's going to be some room for juggling and some potential moving up and down the depth chart for the last couple of spots on the offensive line. Now, speaking of this offensive line, I was talking with my Falcons friend, Will, and we had a whole conversation about with this offensive line, B. John Robinson is not only going to be fantastic next season, but he's going to be an awesome player to have on your fantasy football team. Now, I am sure all Falcons fans are probably going to pick B. John maybe a little bit too early, some hometown bias, but at the same time, he might be a top five fantasy running back next year, and it might be closer to one than five. So where would you pick or will you pick Bijan in would you pick Bijan in round one of your fantasy league? Let's say it's just I know fantasy football, no one gives a shit about your team, all that good stuff. But if it's a 10 man league, you know, half PPR, whatever, whatever settings you want, I think if Bijan is there, like five, six, or seven, I'm probably I'm probably taking him. I still don't know what the fantasy football rankings are, one through three or four. I'm sure Christian McCaffrey's towards the top of that list, but like I don't think Derrick Henry he might be, but Dalvin Cook's not, Joe Mixon's not, Nick Chubb might be up there, Saquon's definitely gonna be up there. So hey, Bijan at four or five, 
I like the value a lot right there. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. The final signing we're really going to go into detail on is Andre Smith. Now, this is definitely the most notable of the signings we're going to cover today. He was actually drafted for one, which is something the other two guys unfortunately cannot say. Seventh round pick out of UNC by Carolina in 2018. He was traded to Buffalo in 2020 with the Bills. He was on and off their practice squad for an extended period of time. Last season for the Titans, he got picked up off Buffalo's practice squad and played five games for the Titans. Now, in his career, he has appeared in 51 games. He has made some starts. 33 tackles, one tackle for loss, and one forced fumble. So, of the three players we're really talking in depth about today, Andre Smith probably has the best shot of making this 53-man roster just because he has made other 53-man rosters before. Maybe now, maybe not so much uh, right out of the gate in terms of uh, throughout training camp, hasn't done that since the Panthers, but Andre Smith is going to join a linebacker room that I think has a few openings, right? Bud Dupree, Troy Anderson, Caden Ellis, Lorenzo Carter, Michael Walker, Arnold Evichetti, they're all locks, no questions about that. But after that, like, I don't think anything is absolutely a firm lock for the roster. So maybe a good training camp from Andre Smith and he could squeak onto this 53-man roster. Now, to recap, Atlanta has made a flurry of moves over the last couple of days. Here are all the players that they added. Andre Smith, Slade Bolden, Alabama legend, went to Baltimore out of, uh, you know, Bama, and then he was cut last year. Uh, Natrone Brooks, uh, Clifford Chapman, Barry Wesley, Lucas Dennis, Nicole London, and Austin Annie. So, uh, with that, there had to have been eight releases at well to keep the roster at 90. Jermaine Effetti, he's a more notable name than some of the other guys we're going to run through. He was released. David Anina, uh, BJ Baylor, Javan, I can't even pronounce that last name, Guidry, I hope. Uh, Matt Hankins, uh, Rashawn Henry, Dylan Mabin, and John Rain. So with that being said, let's play everyone's favorite game. Had you heard of any of those players? Of the 16 names, did you know one of them? I knew Jermaine Effetti for sure. Um, he was more notable cut than the other seven guys were. He has some real starting experience in the NFL. He was even a first-round pick by the Seahawks, believe it or not, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, Jermaine Effetti definitely recognized his name out of the bunch. But let me know if you recognize any of those names down in the chat below because, listen, here at Falcons today, we report on all of the news and rumors. Even if the news is not major, shocking, you know, tidal wave type of moves, we're going to keep you guys informed here at the channel. So let me know if you've heard of any of those names. And hey, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to go ahead and do so. And on yesterday's video, we ended it with, hey, if you made it this far in the video, type real one down in the chat so we can know who the real ones are versus the fakers, the real ones that watch all the way through. And we got a bunch of real ones. So let's see if we can run it back one more time. Spam real one down in the chat if you made it all the way to the end of today's video.